The Smonies and Evans were students getting to the role of a delegate of a country in the United Nations Commission. There are several committees, each one addresses one topic. The topics are of important relevance in the nowadays life. Each delegate must make a preparation before the Smoon takes place. This preparation is reflected in the position paper. That must be done before the Smoon starts. The main objective of the Smoon is to find solutions about the topics in form of a file called Resolution. At the beginning, I thought it was going to be quite complicated. I had a little bit of uncertainty because I didn't know how it was going to turn out. But at the same time, I was excited to start the debate. Once it starts, uh, you realize that it is much easier than it seemed. The SNIRN conference was completely online, with Zoom calls, Google Meet, or even text messages. I remember having a table full of different devices for connection. The main topic was artificial intelligence, and we were divided in several committees. It happened really quick, and even in this crazy year that we are living, and with strange conditions, it was an exciting event and new experience for all of us, people around the world and around the world. From this experience, I have learned a wide range of positive things. Uh, I have learned more things about the world, specifically my topic on sustainability. Moreover, I have developed leadership skills at this moon. It's an exercise in research, public speaking, and teamwork, which are very important throughout your life. Finally, another positive outcome of this experience is meeting and engaging with new people from other countries. I will advise and encourage everyone to take part in an event like this because it gives you the opportunity to meet people from other nations and uh, to learn how to work in a formal debate with native English speakers, which greatly uh, enriches your level of English and it also helps you to lose the fear of speaking in public. I would repeat it without a doubt.